Have you ever wanted to build a serial display, but hated how they all had some form of pixel overflow? Well, this is the video for you. Hello everyone, I'm Stevie5k, and today we're going to be looking at the surprisingly simple way of building a serial display that looks like a normal pixel display. Introducing the Cool Optical Image Loader Display, or COIL Display for short. The reason it's cool is because I like the name, and it's cool. This 3x5 display takes in any 16-bit serial input and outputs the image generated from that image. Essentially, this works sort of like an HDMI cable, but with a lot lower resolution and only two colors. What makes this serial display different from its competitors is the fact that the user never sees the pixel overflow. All that they see is a little blip and the new image pops out. This is crucial because it allows animations to be displayed on a serial display. In other displays, you would have an issue of where the screen has every pixel turned on while a new image is loading. So while running an animation is possible, it wouldn't be great for that kind of technology. So in terms of functions, there's nothing that the user really has to do because the, the screen takes care of it all. All you have to do is input a 16-bit serial line right here, and then the machine takes it in and manipulates it to render an image. So let's get down to building this. So first off, let's begin by building a 2x2 pixel display. So this is our 2x2 pixel, and then we're just going to place these down for controlling. And there we go, our 2x2 pixel. Once that's done, it's time for us to build the buffer. So the buffer is going to be a comparator facing into this block along with a dropper, not a hopper, a dropper. Then with a hopper, and just go ahead and give it an item. That way this has an item in it and this does not. Then we can place a redstone dust right here along with a block and another piece of redstone dust. So now this will be our locking mechanic. So as you can see, if we were to send this, you can see that this has now been turned on. And then if we were to turn this off, it will stay on until we clear the pixel. In a shop, we're going to place a comparator right here along with a block and a repeater set to two ticks and a piece of redstone dust, and there we go. So this is the, this is what allows us to remove that overflow from the user, like from the user's view. Now once we have that done, we're going to copy and paste that four times to the left. So as you can see, we now have a one by five pixel display. Now one thing I will note is that this last, so this rightmost repeater and dust can be removed because this repeater already takes care of what this repeater does so it would literally do us no good to have that right there now the next step is to stack this on top of itself twice to give us our 3x5 display so i'll just let you guys enjoy the little time lapse And there we go, a simple 3x5 serial display. Now the next step is to build the serial decoder. So this takes in our serial input and converts it into a format that this screen can render. So first we'll begin by placing a block behind each of these comparators. Then we're going to replace repeaters along the blocks. So we're going to place a repeater here, 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 and here. Then we're going to come down here and place blocks like so, and then place repeaters facing the opposite direction of this bottom row. And same with the top, we're going to place blocks right here, and then we're going to place repeaters facing this direction and opposite the second row. 
Now we need to figure out a way to get this line to go up to this line, and for this line to go up to this line. So how we'll do that is we will place about two blocks out, then we will go up a block, and then we're going to grab this top slab, this would be a half block, and then this gets fed into another repeater. That way this can get set and it doesn't immediately just go to this one right here. Same with on this side, we're going to go out two blocks and then up a block. Then we're going to build this up and then place redstone along the top and feed it into another repeater. Now by using locking repeaters, we can have it so that we can trap a repeater signal indefinitely. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace a repeater in front of each of these so that way we can lock them, thereby locking our image into the serial display. Next up, we're going to be running lines of blocks and dust on top. And then we're going to work a little bit on getting these to time correctly and be in sync. And there we go. If we send this an input, you will see that all of the repeaters are locked, and so we have successfully saved our serial display. So now comes the time where we build a sort of clock. I had a lot of trouble with this, but thanks to a video I watched from the Darkness 344, I was able to get it all to work right. So we're going to place this down along with a repeater and build the clock like so. Now this is similar to a hex register, but this is a repeater instead of a comparator, so that way this always maintains a value of 15. Now we're going to have three inputs, a block, a piece of redstone dust, and a repeater set to four picks. So this block is going to act like this, and where we're going to have ourselves a line like that. So it's a little bit hard to work out with, but I think you guys can manage that. Next, right here, we're going to place a repeater and set it to two ticks. So this is set to one tick and this is set to two ticks. Lastly, we have this one. Now this is where it gets important because with serial technology, you have to be very careful that you put in the exact amount of ticks, otherwise it won't work right. For our 3x5 display, we need exactly 17 ticks in repeater delays. So I'll place eight, I'll place four repeaters, set to four ticks, and then one repeater set to exactly one tick. Now we have to wire them all up. Now last thing we have to do is be able to hold this so that way our screen is not simply this with just an extra step. So how we're going to do that is we're going to extend this out one more block and then like we did with this stack over here build it up until all of them are in sync now if i were to put this torch here you can see that all of the poppers are being locked now we can break this because it's not being powered and the value is still getting saved now we're going to replace this piece of redstone dust with a repeater and then build a staircase with the white wool so as you can see it's supposed to be five blocks tall now we're going to come under here and build a three tick redstone pulse so as you can see we can place this here so this is a three tick redstone pulse so if i were to turn this off this torch would turn off and then three ticks later this repeater would turn on then we'll run dust all along to lock it in. Finally, all we have to do last is connect this piece of redstone dust to our three tick pulse and our image is saved. If you want one more demonstration then here you go. As you can see we take this blank image and turn it into a checkerboard. And there we go. If you want to use this display go ahead and connect it to your Render Dragon 101 and everything should be working nicely. If not, I first recommend checking the repeater timings as that is critical for this thing to work properly. If you're still having trouble and there will be a world download with a working Render Dragon 101 and coil display, the link to that will be in the description below. If you need more help with troubleshooting, don't hesitate to join my Discord server. The link to that will also be in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.